I think vitality and life are now my purpose when I paint. And I do believe every piece I do has a piece of me in it. You know, this could take me a couple weeks till I get to a point where I, I feel like I've got the right combination of paint, contrast, texture. Why is all that happening on that canvas? This feels like life to me. Like you could feel life moving through the veins of this. But to really have a statement and be bold about it. And you know, to this day when someone says, oh, you're a survivor, I'm like, no, I'm thriving. And I'm gonna be thriving until I'm not. I was going to pretty reputable docs at the time. They looked at it and felt like it was just a fibroid and that it was just fine and not to worry about it. There's something about women's intuition that you just, you know, maybe there is something there. And so I went back in and I said, hey, you know, I just want to make sure this isn't something. I just feel like it's bigger. And um, three days later, I walked in his office. You know, he was white as a sheet and said, Suzanne, I'm just so sorry. You know, this is cancer. You think that everything's over. I mean, you really go to the worst place. You, you think you're, you're going to die much questioning or you know am I gonna be here what's important to me I made the decision to go ahead and get the full treatment and that's when I met with Dr. Heskey I think that patients really appreciate it when you deal with that uh, empathetically when you deal with it honestly when you're told something like that the one thing you really need from someone is safety and that they're gonna be there for the long run give them information that allows them to maintain their dignity and quality of life I was doing art all my life, but I didn't really know why. For me, my art became a vehicle. I got so inspired and I went in my basement and I started drawing these women. One of the things I wanted to get across was a message about vitality and your essence. And that, I think, is really what triggered me wanting to paint these women that were so beautiful, even though they didn't have any hair. Because it was like, wait a minute, that's just one aspect of me. It's okay, you know, you don't have that, but you have all this other stuff. Cancer is not a diagnosis that, that you get and that you're just done with. It's with you forever. For me, the color, the painting, the texture, it's an ongoing journey. I haven't stopped. Cancer is uh, just a diagnosis, something you live with. I, I don't think about it anymore as, as a scary thing. I think about it as a gift can become something that you can step onto and really be a great person from. I mean, whether it's in, my, in the art world or whoever, I just want to be that advocate that says, so what? Yes, you can. You get back up, you do what you can, and you make, you make life a gift.